I'm Amanda Starling Gould, and I'll be teaching a graduate liberal studies course this summer on climate technology and justice. In this course, we'll explore how digital technologies are altering climate and acting toward its preservation. We'll look at human earth technology relations and possible planetary futures. If the earth, the human and technology are no longer separable or even thinkable in isolation from each other, we need models for reflecting critically about our physically entangled global ecological systems. So in this class, we'll ask how we know about nature, climate, and the future. We'll ask who knows, who gets to know, and what we know about nature, climate, and the future. We'll then take a tour through various interventions proposed to ensure the future is fit for humans or human consumption. We'll find that technology is often either identified as the problem or oppositely as the solution. We'll hold space for both to be true and we'll undertake together contradictory thought experiments like what if technological geoengineering is the path to the future? Or what if degrowth is the path to the future? Or what if green growth is the path to a livable human future? Or what if land back is the way forward? We'll take seriously each to see which should be taken seriously. And we'll unpack what needs to be true about the concepts of nature, environment, human, and technology to make each of those solutions viable. At the core of all our conversations will be an unwavering acknowledgement that the future and the environment are not equitably distributed and the global and generational human us and we that makes such terms meaningful hides and abets. Countless local and global injustices created in the name of progress. The culminating assignment for the class will be an interdisciplinary project that integrates course readings and outside research to meaningfully reflect on the interrelation of climate technology and culture. We'll um, perhaps visit the campus farm and art exhibits to think about how those are integrated into our knowledge about what nature is. We'll take very seriously that research and expertise come in many shapes in this class. So we'll read across fields and formats and your projects can be individual or collaborative and can include elements like community eco-partnerships, global social activism, multimedia reflections, speculative design projects, land-based art or performance, reports, graphic narratives, manifestos, and on and on. We'll be capacious in our ways of thinking and researching and producing projects afterward. I look forward to seeing you if this class sounds interesting.